As of recording this, we're only one week out from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, a film that James Gunn promises will be an emotional ending for our characters. <laughs> Whatever that means. I'm excited. And I'm equally excited by these early impressions from movie critics that are better than me and got to see this film early. Let's dive in, see what they have to say. Spoiler free. As of right now, the tomato meter, it's a weird thing to say, sits at 81% for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which if you don't know means 81% of the critics that saw it thought it was better than it was worse. I know, it's complicated over there. That doesn't mean that the movie is only 81% great. It just means that of the critics that saw it, 81% say it's a fresh film, not a rotten film. And we're gonna dive into a few from each right now. First, let's start with some negatives. Rodrigo Perez says, and I'm gonna do voices for these people because why not? In James Gunn's overt attempt to make Volume 3 the most heartbreaking Guardians movie and make you feel all the feels, the writer slash director just tends to overcook a lot of the scenes with weepiness that feels forced. Rodrigo was not too impressed. You know what I'm not impressed with? The fact that he gave Thor Love and Thunder a fresh score. We're gonna be discrediting all of these reviews. Let's move on. Carla Hay says, it clumsily tries to blend mean-spiritedness, I hate that word, with sentimentality. The new characters in this saga are hollow and horribly written. Most of the returning hero characters are often smug and irritating. You know what else is irritating, Carla? You gave Ravenous Sua a negative score on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't actually know what Ravenous Sua is, but I agreed with you on pretty much everything I saw you review. So, okay, maybe that one's a legit, scary, worrisome review, but we're gonna move on. Peter Martin says, <coughs> A clumsy, overlong series finale that never strikes a balance between the touching story at its core and the numerous moving parts hovering in that story's vicinity. He gave the Super Mario Brothers movie a rotten score. So screw you, Peter Martin! Get back on your high horse and ride over to your cigar lounge with your buddies and, and talk about how great Bo was afraid is, you prick. Let's move on. El Marino says, Cue the Sarah McLachlan music, because James Gunn is trying hard to make you feel things. This ends up as a tonal mess that relies on Disney-style emotional manipulation. Gave Blonde a fresh score. Gave that on a dare moss pile of crap a positive there on Rotten Tomatoes, so I don't really care what you have to say because that movie was awful. Let's get some positivity in our life. See what some of the pro critics had to say because I'm definitely not biased or going in thinking that this movie's gonna be great. That's not what a good critic does. Chris Joy says, when the movie is focusing on what it's done so well in the past with the topic of family, the story beats are emotional and impactful, shining with real heart. And just to show I'm fair and honest, he also gave Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Shidia, good old fashioned positive on the site. So. so maybe I don't really care what Chris has to say. Kristen Acuna says, Gunn delivers an emotional send off for his ragtag group of misfits that possesses the humor and heart of the first two movies, devoid of any real stakes. Volume three is not the best in the trilogy, but it's better than the last outing. Mm. Gave Buzz Light your refresh. Gave that one a fresh. Mark Hughes. For some reason, I'm sarcastic clapping, even though he genuinely liked the movie. Bravo! Everyone involved. Everything you've come to know, love, and expect from a Guardians of the Galaxy movie is here again. And as usual, Gunn has ramped it all up even better than before. Actually, you know what? He said, and as usually, Gunn has ramped it all up even better than before. Mm. And this is a Forbes. This is a, a person that works at Forbes, apparently. Discredited. Doesn't proofread his shit. And he also gave Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, a positive, a fresh. You're done. I don't care what you have to say. One more positive. <laughs> oh God. Grace Randolph, America's sweetheart. The Marvel magic is back. James Gunn continues to evolve as a filmmaker, growing more confident and ambitious. The cast also does stellar work to deliver a thrilling, but also moving superhero movie. Discredited? It's Grace Randolph. 
Those are just some of the thoughts and critiques by the experts out there. The ones that saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 early, I'm not bitter. I gave you some pros, I gave you some cons. I think the overall takeaway we can get from this is that the movie fulfills a lot of promises. It's emotional, maybe too emotional, maybe a little over the top. Might be a little disjointed, a little herky-jerky, a little all over the place. I'm okay with that, it's Gunn. He likes to have some fun. Let Gunn have some fun, is what I say. I'm excited for this film. I'm not overly optimistic because the MCU has been kind of a disaster since Endgame. There's been some good ones, but for the most part, I've not really liked what they've been putting out. But in Gunn, I trust. Haven't really watched any of the trailers, except for, I think, the first one that released. Haven't watched any clips. I know I'm going to see it. I want to be surprised. I want to be wowed. And these critics so far aren't really turning me away. And that's good. We should always make up our own mind at the end of the day anyways. So I want to hear from you in the comments. Are you concerned? Are you worried? Have you already seen the movie? What did you think of it? Are you Grace Randolph? Let me know, Grace. <laughs> She's a No, no, I don't want to hear from her. Please like the video if you enjoyed the commentary. Subscribe if you haven't already as I post tons of movie content each and every week. Would love to have you stick around. And hopefully, see you next time.